Hi, this is a video showing you how to set up Wi-Fi for Pocket PC using Windows Mobile 2003. Now whether the uh, Wi-Fi is built in or whether you're using an external card does not make any difference. You set it up the same way. So uh, let's get started. What you're going to do is first you're going to click on Start and you're going to come down and click on Settings. You're going to see three tabs along the bottom of the screen. We're going to go and click on Connections. Uh, now there will be an icon also called Connections. We're going to click on that. Okay, now what we want to do from here is come down to this link at the bottom that says Set Up My Proxy Server. We're going to click on that and we get another screen that says Proxy Settings. All we want to do is check this one box here that says this network connects to the internet. That's it. Do nothing else on this screen. Come over here and we'll click on OK. Now uh, there is a tab called Advanced. We're going to click on that, Advanced. Now we're going to click on Select Networks. OK. Now you'll see two boxes with drop down arrows. What we're going to do here is the top one, we're going to make sure that it says My Work Network. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to click on the drop down arrow here and select My Network, uh, My Work Network. We don't want to edit it. We don't want to create a new uh, network. We simply want to change it to My Work Network. Then we're going to click OK and we will click OK again. Now at this point that's it. That is your basic setup to connect to any open wireless network. If that's what you have you should be able to connect at this point. And we're going to test that. We're going to click on Start. We're going to go to uh, Internet Explorer And I'm going to click on the uh, favorites that are already programmed in. I'm going to click on Windows Mobile. You can see the little flag waving in the corner here. And as you can see, it connected. Now, what if you cannot connect at this point? Okay, what we know is that either, if you cannot connect at this point, that means either that you have some sort of security enabled on the network you're trying to connect to or there's some other setting on the network that your pocket PC is not matching. So what we need to do is find out what sort of security is set up on that network. The way you do that is you're going to have to contact the people that you bought the router from and ask them whether there is any security set up. Once you find out, and it's usually something with a, a password, you will come back to your pocket PC, we'll click on Start, and again we'll go to Settings, we'll go to Connections, Connections again, and now we will click on Advanced. Okay, now what we would do is click on Network Cards. Now we, you will see the network that you are trying to connect to, you're trying to use the internet but you have not been able to do that. So what we'll do is we'll click on that network, we'll click on that link and as you can see uh, it's bringing up another screen that says configure wireless network. It shows you the name of the network. So now we're going to come down here to where it says authentication. Okay, now it gets a little bit technical here uh, and you will have to have some information, as I said, from the people who sold you the router or the people who set up the network for you. If you have uh, security enabled, if you have encryption enabled, then you will need to check this box here that says WEP enabled. You will also need to know what the WEP so-called key is. The WEP key is basically a password. Now here you can see there's a box that says the key is provided for me automatically. Uh, we would uncheck that box because if that were true then you would be able to, to get on the internet. And then this box here you're going to be able to enter uh, data into. So you would enter in and I believe it's usually in hex uh, meaning a series of numbers 
<coughs> whatever it is that the, the router people gave you, that's what you would enter in this box here. Also, there is something called a web key index. And this index, this number, has got to match the number that uh, the router is using. There's one through four that it could possibly be. So that, that is what you need to do. You need to put in the web key. You need to make sure the key index is the same as the network is already using. Once you've done that, uh, you will just click OK and go back to your um, initial screen and you should then be able to connect to the internet without any problem. Now, if you still have problems, that means that there is still a router setting that is conflicting with the settings on the Pocket PC. For example, routers uh, in this day and age can be several types. They can be Type-N routers, they can be Type-G routers, they can be Type-B routers. The Pocket PC, uh, at least on this particular model, is using a Type-B uh, wireless card. So you would need to set the router to accept Type-B wireless cards. Usually on a router it's called mixed mode. Now that you're going to have to look in your router manual or you're going to have to call tech support for the people who uh, make that router and they will walk you through setting up to change the uh, setting to match the type of router you're using. Um, that is mostly it. There aren't too many other things that can prevent you from connecting. If you do those things, you will be able to connect to the internet. So, hope that helps you out. I know there have been some people with problems connecting. I hope that solves it for you. Thank you very much.